Hey everybody, it's Cynthia Maynard from CynthiaMaynard.com and I'm in my Canson watercolor journal today and I was kind of flipping through some things I've made in the past and I came across this little card panel that I think maybe I've done for a video. I can't, I can't even remember at this point. But um, anyway, I really liked this so I thought I was kind of inspired by these to incorporate into my journal with some faces that I've been having fun with. So I'm going to kind of flip flip to a open page here and I made with these uh, Le Pen drawing pens and they draw really really well and um, I think I picked these up like almost a year ago from Joann's and you can get them in different sizes and tips and these are the only two that I have uh, they're made by Marvy and I really like them so that's what I made these with and so I'm going to go ahead and kind of make some of these swirly flowers because they're kind of inspiring me right now And just making some simple little leaves. And then some more little swirlies tucked in there. I tend to like threes. <laughs> Something about that odd number. Alright, so I'm going to kind of lightly come in with a pencil first because um, I kind of want to get a general idea since I've got my hair down. Um, you don't have to do it with the pencil first, but if that makes you feel more comfortable, you might want to change the way, way she's looking. Okay, so your face is starting to form, and at what point you feel confident kind of um, going in with the, the pen, you can do that. So I'm going to use this smaller one as I drop it on her, and kind of trace over my pencil marks, and then when that dries I can go back in and erase that. Okay, and I sort of like, this is a sort of a dramatic hair piece, right? So I'm sort of wanting a very dramatic um, color. Almost like a fairyland type of color. You can kind of do some shading over here and so forth. So I've got a few Prima sets and I, the Pastel Dreams, I like, I really like these sort of creamy 
um, pinky ruddy type of um, type of deals there. So Think of French things and macarons and <laughs> such like. I'm gonna bring some of this, what they're calling lemonade, like a pink lemonade. Bring some of that in. Kind of has a peachy feel to it. Very on trend right now. Everything's very sugary and light. Bring in some of her skin tone. Um, again, I'm going to keep it really, really light. I think I might use the Decadent Pies for that. Um, let's see down here. Yeah. Just kind of mixing that together. In. This is where I want to bring a little bit of shading, um, like in the corners here. Put this down for a second. And then just kind of pulling that out. If that's too much, um, you can dab some of that off. But I want to kind of start to give some dimension to her face. Okay. See? You can lift that right up. Have these handy dandy Affine Tech, uh, but there are other ones. I think even Prima makes some. Um, I don't know because these will like last me forever, but <laughs> Um, these have a great shimmery um, feel to them. I should have sprayed them. Six here and see if there's one that I want. Maybe that royal blue. Her, that nice pinkish color that we were using earlier. And then we'll pick some of that back up and move some of that around. Right? She's rosy cheeked. Can't have flowers on your head and not be rosy cheeked, right? <laughs> there we go. This time, it takes the muffy squirt it with some water and let it soak for a few minutes, it uh, start to give up its its magic there. And this is of course a shimmery watercolor. A lot of people do lettering with this. It's very, very pretty. Um, I think it's nice to give you different shades and undertones and so forth. Um, so we can even come down here and blend this a little bit into our surroundings since we're not drawing the rest of her at this time. You can always go back another time and do that as well. I think I'm going to go bold with her hair and do a wash of that same royal blue.
Even going back in now with some more gold to provide some shading. And I just want to see here. Maybe coming in very ever so slightly. So I'm not even following every single part of the line. I'm just kind of almost highlighting some of the um, parts of the bigger lines there just to give little flecks of gold. This is our sort of main focal point in the whole thing. So the gold shading. Now hopefully the camera is picking that up. I think I see it right there. Mm, looking fun. <laughs> I'm even going to paint up here like this. So I can see my back and my neck hurts sometimes when I have to <laughs> bend over like that. And then we're going to get some of these tendrils coming out like this. The nice thing about art, sometimes you can plan all you want, but the hand, it's like the human voice. It's not going to be the same as an instrument, and the advantage that it has over an instrument is there's this natural organic quality about it that can't be quite replicated in the same way an instrument can be. So it's kind of the same way with art. It's going to be slightly different every time, and, that, and that's good. You know, you don't, you don't want everything to be exactly the same. So I hope you're getting that. Alright, looking lovely. So use things for an inspiration, you know, to take off with it and see, see where that leads you.